Neva is one of the most heartfelt games I've played this year. If you're on the hunt for an emotionally charged platforming game that tugs at your heartstrings, let me introduce you to Neva. Hi, I'm Locke Finesse, and today we're diving into Neva to see if it's going to be worth your time, money, and perhaps a few tears. Neva was released on October 15th for the PC in all consoles, developed by Nomada Studios, well known for their game Gris. At its core, Neva is an emotional roller coaster centered around parenthood. It beautifully captured that delicate balance of joy and sorrow, pride and fear, and the instinct to protect. The story follows Alba, a young girl whose life intertwines with Neva, a curious little wolf cub. Together, they navigate a decaying world facing dark forces and environmental ruin. Their adventure kicks off in a landscape that feels like it's teetering on the edge of despair, setting the stage for a journey filled with tragedy, growth, and hope. Visually, Neva is nothing short of breathtaking. You can see the Studio Ghibli influence in every landscaped and whimsical creature design, really reminding me of Princess Mononoke and Spirited Away. The characters were uniquely crafted, making the world feel really familiar yet distinct on its own. Honestly, the animation is so stunning that it pulls you right into this immersive living environment even as it's decaying around you. From the moment I started playing, I was swept away by the emotional depth of the game. Alba's bond in Neva drives the story forward with moments of pure joy and heart-wrenching sorrow that stuck a deep chord within me. What sets Neva apart is how it communicates its narrative. There's no dialogue, and instead it relies on the visual storytelling and the connection between its characters to create a more intimate experience. I never thought that I would be so attached to a fictional wolf cub than I have in this game. Watching Neva grow from a vulnerable little pup into a more independent creature mirrored my own experiences as a mother. The themes of growth, rebellion, and mutual respect between Alba and Neva were executed beautifully, and the environmental decay around them adds a layer of urgency that feels so relevant in our world today. Now, as for gameplay, Neva offers two distinct difficulty modes. You have adventure mode, which is the standard experience, and then you also have story mode, where you can play without the frustration of dying, and it truly lets you get into the story. The platforming and puzzle solving elements blend seamlessly, keeping the rhythm satisfying and engaging right from the get-go. One of my favorite things was how the game gradually introduced you to the mechanics and the combat, so you didn't feel overwhelmed right away. The relationship between Alba and Neva isn't just central to the story, it shapes the gameplay too. As Neva gains new abilities, you grow alongside with her, deepening your guys' emotional bond. The pacing with this game was spot on, striking a good balance between challenge and the exploration. The platforming sections and puzzles were integrated so smoothly that I found myself genuinely enjoying the challenges, even though I got stuck. I got stuck quite often, oh no. honestly. Oh no. oh I'm just no. not very good at platforming games. Neva can even heal Alba during certain battles, which added a fun layer to the gameplay. With the variety of enemies and areas to explore, the game stayed fresh and engaging the whole way through. In terms of the mechanics, the puzzles and exploration are well designed, encouraging critical thinking without becoming too frustrated. The platforming controls were intuitive and responsive. So whether you're using a controller or a keyboard, navigating through the world feels fluid and very enjoyable. And of course, dangers lurk around every corner and Neva's vulnerability adds to the layer of tension. You form a deep emotional connection with her, knowing that every challenge could threaten her safety. This emotional stake really amplifies the impact of the gameplay. Each victory feeling hard won and every setback resonates with you deeply. Neva unfolds in this seasonal structure with the narrative mirroring Alba and Neva's growth in the struggles. The sound design also plays a crucial role here, especially since there's no dialogue. The music truly immerses you and gets you hooked into the game and feeling all the emotions with them. Even without words, the sound design carries the weight of the story, showing just how powerful well-designed audio can be. Now, the game is relatively short. I finished it in about five hours, 
but the emotional journey feels so much larger. I definitely suggest playing this game straight through. While it might not take you too long to complete, there are also some collectibles for you to hunt for and the chapter selection feature lets you revisit what you might have previously missed. It's definitely the kind of game that's going to stick with you long after you finish it. I did play this on my Steam Deck and I noticed the characters were so tiny, which made things a little tricky for me. I'm curious to how it's going to be on the Nintendo Switch. Aside from that, the controls were intuitive and the challenging puzzles, while they were occasionally frustrating, Ultimately, they felt really rewarding once I solved them. I think Neva is a beautifully crafted game that perfectly blends action adventure and platforming elements with an emotional story. The way it weaves together heartfelt moments and the stunning visuals create an experience that really sticks with you. This game is perfect for anyone who loves deep meaning stories and some platforming. So would I recommend Neva? Most definitely. Whether you're in it for platforming or you just want an emotional story, it's a must play in my book. I want to hear from you. Will you be picking up Neva? And if you have already, I would love to hear your thoughts about the game. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more cozy gaming content. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and until next time. So happy gaming.